This video is going to talk about how to find the direction associated with the open right hand rule, or what's called the Lorentz force. So if you take a wire, take this wire and you stick it in a magnetic field, and then you take the ends of the wire and you connect them to a battery, that will generate a current running through the magnetic field and the wire will move. So it moves because of what we call a Lorentz force. And the magnitude of Lorentz force can be calculated pretty straightforward with just F is equal to bill sine theta. This video is not going to talk about the how to calculate the magnitude, but rather how to find the direction that the wire will move. Will it move up, down, left, right, but how to determine those directions and how the, all these variables relate. Well, this is all done with a vector cross product which involves magnitude and direction. So this is about the direction component of it. But before we get into the rule, let's talk a little bit about physics and current. So physics is about the study of motion, energy, matter, and force. So the key word here being energy. I know that energy it has a high potential and a low potential, and things always flow from high potential to low potential. On a battery, the high potential is the positive side. The negative terminal is the low potential. So charge carriers deliver energy as they travel from positive to negative. So we use those charge carriers to represent the current. So in order for current to go from positive to negative, the current must be represented by the flow of positive charges. So whenever I talk about current, I'm talking about the open right-hand rule, I'm talking about the flow of positive charges. If you think about current being negative charges, you're thinking left-hand rule, and you might use it a little bit differently. So this current, we're going to find current as the flow of positive charges because they're the energy deliverers for uh, a circuit. A force is a vector that requires magnitude and direction. So this is the direction part. I'm going to use the open right-hand rule to determine how these things all relate to each other, how they're perpendicular to each other. So here's my open right hand on the screen, and you can see I've got arrows coming up from the thumb, the palm pushing forward, pushing to the left, and then my fingers pushing into the screen. So they're each going to represent a variable. The fingers are the field, that is the magnetic field. So the fingers are the field, and they seek the south. The palm provides the push. In other words, it's the force. So the fingers are the field, and they're seeking into the screen. The palm's pushing left, and my thumb is the current or the flow of positive charge. So fingers of the field, they seek the south, palm is the push, you know, a push is a force, and your thumb is the current, or the flow of positive charge. So let's look at an example problem. I've got a magnet with the south pole above me, north pole below, and current going across it. I'll use my open right hand rule to figure out the direction of the force felt on this current that's moving across the screen. So the B field seeks the south, so it goes from the bottom to the top, and the current goes from right to left. So I take my right hand and I try to orient it to match up these two conditions, the current and the field. And so my right hand will look something like this, with the fingers being the field, seeking the south, and my thumb going in the general direction of the current. That means that my palm is the push, and it's pushing the current, whatever's carrying that current, into the screen. Let's look at a second and final example. What is the direction of the force felt by the wire? So I've got this wire with a positive terminal above, negative below, and put in a magnetic field. I've defined current as a flow of positive charge, so it's going to flow from positive to negative. And the B field is going to flow from north to south or from left to right on my screen. Now I might take my hand and I match it up so my thumb points down and my fingers point to the right on my screen. My hand's going to look something like this. Since my palm is the push, that means that my wire is going to be lifted up out of the screen towards me.